in the studio. I don't know who it was. I'm thinking that they were being real covert or something, like stashing their tools in a super special place that they would, you know, be out of the cool and that sort of place. It was like a whole set. It was the last round of like really razor shell like sculpting tools. And they put them like, they put it like on top of the shell. I mean, that thing went. By my head, yes, a couple of days ago, and I didn't know it was there. I was like, you know, oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He didn't think that. Jeez. <laughs> yes, they have a note on them now saying, I know you thought this was a good idea. That was just me. That was just me. If you saw the flash, oh, okay. is that what you looked up like well, it, you reacted to it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that <laughs> yeah, yeah, the logical. Mm -hmm. Good for them because she, she ended up back there and got uh, her into the geology. Oh, wow. She now teaches geology classes at DSU and also does research for the University of Idaho and so there. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, geology and research. Mm -hmm. She's a lot of work. He got a job with it. I can't get the Teton to come out. I know. Yeah, it's, 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 it's too bright. Yeah, it's, you're backlit. I mean, I think you might be able to adjust the brightness on your iPhone. I think. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. I'm not. Here, you want me to show you? Yeah. All right. So, if you. So, if you. <laughs> okay, now, it's really a bummer when you're here throwing pots and the Tetons are there <laughs> oh, and then one of these classic planes takes oh, off. Oh, it's terrible. I don't know how to keep it out. What's that? He's freaking the mojo. Toham, oh, another day in paradise. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I still use five words. Measure twice, got worse. Oh, it got over five. Oh, it got over five. Oh, it dried good. Sweet, though. The denim shirt. We use this method with the fan. The denim shirt with the pocket. Yeah. Oh, how cute. Yeah. And if I Holy use that technique, I could get a pot Whoa. six inches tall. Holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he's done that. Get that open. Got to work this seam together a little bit. Look at that. Watching that, Dad. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you just working it together? I am. Yeah, so my inside can, I'm kind of pulling it up and uh -huh. this is coming down. Okay, and they were beveled, so yeah. to fit together better. I'll try and get this, I'm going to go over it like this, but then I'm going to do a couple of other little maneuvers here. <laughs> This is a. Uh, yeah. yeah, right. This is a paddle. This is a uh, one of the Korean Anghee paddles. Uh -huh. yeah. 
And these, when people really know what they're doing with this, it's amazing that they, when they're using it, they just like, yeah. they're, they're really mm -hmm. whamming the whamming. Good YouTube videos. Korean yeah. Ungi Fighters. Uh, How do you spell Ungi? O-N-G-I? O-N-G-G-I. Ungi. Yeah. Okay, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Some good, yes, YouTube videos of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at how long that is. It was a long time. Right. Long time. I was not allowed to do it. Wow. I need a lot of time. If you think about it, the paddling, the, I always like to think about the, the paddling kind of helps strengthen it quite a bit. Because it kind of is real, it's sort of smacking all the clay particles and getting them to. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. well, this is it. Gets them in order. Vibrating concrete. Where did you acquire these? This is like a sticker on it still. I got it in Korea. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> gonna maybe guess that. At a Walmart. At Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Koreans love Walmart. <laughs> we had all these students for we did a, a one month international thing at MSU a couple of summers ago. We had twelve Korean students and eight Chinese students and ten American students all working for a month together in the studio. It was fantastic. But the Chinese students in particular, like within a, within a half a day of being in Bozeman, they had the bus figured out how to get to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> they had it totally dialed in. And then there was this one thrift store on the way down there called New to You. And those guys bought so much stuff in that thrift store. They were in there every day buying stuff. Bags of... Stuff that was made Stop. in China. <laughs> 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 Take it back home. It's cheaper here. It's a whole journey back to yeah. the ocean. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> There's no lie. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, didn't they look at the label? And then my. Uh, Used by Americans. <laughs> the Korean professor who was there, this guy, Yin Chen Lee, uh, he was a real character. And he, he fell in love with these two um, cook stoves, really beautiful antique cook stoves were at the thrift store. And so all month he was talking, he was like, oh, I'm going to get that. And I'm like, God, what are you going to do, ship it back? He's like, oh, yeah, I'll ship it back home. Maybe there's two of them. Maybe I'll get both of them. I'll get one for my friend, too. So he ended up buying both of them <laughs> and shipping them back to Korea. <laughs> and I, and he's, he's got them. He said, Did you get those stoves hooked up yet? Oh, no. Oh, you know, they're in crates somewhere. <laughs> but someday, someday he'll have them. But I don't, I, I think it's, I think it's fun. This is a nice big rib. Did you make that one? No. Did you call it McRib? McRib. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, but that's the thing. Don't drop it. I know, yeah, you don't want to drop it. <laughs> Sometimes I need a little perch to get up a little bit higher. Get a stool. Mm -hmm. okay. Stool's mm. probably a lot. Yeah, a box of clay. Box of clay, maybe, or this and a pen of boards. Boxes. So, how about a, yeah, you wear, oh, a box of clay will work there too. Here. Let me throw that at you. There, it looks like you bought it just that far. Yeah, it looks like a little dangerous. Yeah, it's a really big piece. Might need a second box. Yeah. Good question. Lots of board. Yeah, let's have one more box of clay and a board. Yeah, we're board. Think about standing on this. There's some boards yeah, right, right, right here. Right over there. Too. There's a. Those are shelves. Uh, melamine right there. 
Yeah. Yeah, that board, that's <laughs> Perfect. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, look at that. It's gold. That board is green as you want. Try and make sure that seam is really well joined before I try and throw this a little bit more. set up quite a bit and then I spend a fair bit of time just kind of loosening it up to get it in. Interesting you're using your fingertips. Oh yeah. Don't you ever use your fingertips, Susan? Yeah, yeah not like that though. You're not uh, pulling it or anything, you're just you're just leveling it kind of so. give it all the same thickness. Yeah. Evening it out yeah. a little bit, but starting to stretch it out a little bit too. Just push it down on the same Yeah. Shape it a little bit. Cheap. It's that cat hair. It's that dang cat hair. Mm <laughs> you have a really good video going here, Josh. I'm watching it. Oh, this good. I got to talk to this guy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it looks really good. Yeah, it? Yeah. It's awesome. Of course, you're now on the video, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of right against it. I've got the sponge in there too. So just fingers against fingers right now, pretty much. Um, and not one above the other, but mostly right, right together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Play. Yes. laughs> 
So do you play music when you work at home? Uh, I usually listen to the radio, but it's usually some kind of music. that way with the with the music thing. I, I, I love I love being able to just have the radio play different stuff and not really think about it that much. I am I'm pretty lazy about it. <laughs> but you do turn it on instead of instead What's that? of just the quiet like I can imagine. Probably could screw up quiet in here right now. Yeah. I'm wondering how different that is. No, I, I, I usually have some kind of noise distraction going on, for sure. Some A couple of cats meowing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Are you feeling a real softness at the seam now, Josh? What's that? Do you feel a real softness at uh -huh. your seam? Uh, no. Because it's looking a lot more pronounced all of a sudden. Is that down here? No, at the back seat. Right there? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see that. I <laughs> When is that popping up? Is it stretching? Right there, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit. I can fix it though, I think. Mm Is that better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, ideally, I can, you know, have a, maybe um, have a couple of these going. Well, that's that's not realistic. I don't usually have two of them going, but I like to be able to throw them and then let them sort of set for a while and then work on just kind of work out the shape on them a little bit more. Um, and just play with that drawing of it a little bit. Because if they, if they 
dry, and then they then they get more structural, and they don't collapse. That's always beneficial. <laughs> down here somewhere below the bottom yeah. part. and then the so the shoulder usually has more in the top of it does that make sense yeah I did. yeah because your abs were pretty much the same thing. right yeah but, but is the, that because you like the shape better that way than a belly lower yeah I think I think this like Try, this is always the hard part, or the part I'm interested in, I should say. I think it's just trying to, but it's not necessarily just that. I mean, it's that in relation to the whole curve mm -hmm. of it. But just trying to get this bottom part full, full filled out, so it feels like it's real um, full, like uh, a lot of volume down there. But usually that's the case the same is usually down here and then the curve is you know it comes out from that usually and then in it's pretty consistent that way Nerve-wracking, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's because of the altitude. You guys are you guys uh, <laughs> exhausted yet? Yeah. My arms are really tired. <laughs> <laughs> the altitude, Josh, up here makes it, there's not as much air goes inside of them. So when you're building them out, like it's a little bit harder, difficult. That's why I'm feeling so lightheaded. Yeah, that's the, that's my excuse. That's what it is. Biota. <laughs> Blame it on the altitude. Mm -hmm. What is 
sea altitude here. Is it really? Well, no wonder. Did I make that stuff up? Josh, it's about 7,000. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. So. That's why it was so lightheaded last yeah, night. Yeah, really. How much dog food can you put in this? <laughs> At least a 50 pound bag. Mm -hmm. 100 pounds. <laughs> Was that intentional? What? <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah. You mean that line to hide the seam? <laughs> yeah, it's a little above the seam. See, but it distracts you, right? <laughs> now I can't remember where the seam is. See? Perfect. <laughs> that was intentional. And are you trying to really not use much slip now? Yeah, I mean, a little bit drier, yeah. Stop now. Oh, that's just beautiful. Amazing. Okay.